Philippians 4 verse 6 Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will be with you in your hearts and minds forevermore in Christ Jesus. This is a wonderful promise. So let's come before God now in thanksgiving and bring him our prayer requests and all the things that make us anxious. Dear Lord our God, you are our creator and you know all things. You know what's in our hearts, what we worry about, those we love, those who have hurt us and those situations which we think are unfair and cruel and need your healing touch. There are so many to think about but we bring them before you now, each of us in our own hearts, all those things that you have laid us up upon us. We pray that as we Spend this time in your presence, that your healing power might go out, that you will use our prayers to bring healing into this world, not just for the sick, but also for those situations of injustice and unfairness, of real fear, such as where there's war or people are in refugee camps. We pray that your light might come into the darkness of the world. And Lord, during this time of pandemic, we pray that you will enable doctors and nurses to keep faithful, encourage them and strengthen them. We pray for researchers as they look for a cure. And we pray, Father, for those looking for a vaccine. And Lord, it's so hard for governments to know what to do, whether to relax lockdowns or whether to suffer the economy. We pray, Father, that you will give wisdom to all the governments of the world, that they will know what to do for the best for their citizens. And Lord, us who are your servants, we pray that we may be able to keep on telling the story of your love and your faithfulness and the hope we have in you that this world is not all there is, that there is a life afterwards, a life with you in eternity and that we can have this life through knowing Jesus. So Lord we pray that our prayers might make a difference and that this world and this place where we live might be one that is according to your will. And so together we pray your prayer for your will to be done on earth, the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen.